Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today I will show you a trick to know the exact iOS version on the disabled device or a device having the passcode screen. If you connect the device that having the passcode screen or a disabled screen on any iOS version on any iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, it will not directly connect with your PC because the USB restriction is on. That's a security feature for the iOS devices that don't allow you to enter in your device without entering the right password so you will not allow you to connect any usb devices or it will not charge because the usb restriction is on so you cannot get any information of the device like ios version or it will not open the device and connect with the pc on the trio tools or itunes you only connect with the trio tools or itunes in the recovery mode or a dfu mode but it will not give you the exact ios version we have to know because many times we have to jailbreak the device in the disable or a passcode screen because many times we have to jailbreak the disabled device in the usb restriction mode and then we have to use the mina usb patcher to off the restriction then we can do the find my phone off and other things so i will show you exactly how you can do that and check the exact ios version of any device that having the any ios version whether it's ios 10 11 12 or any ios version even latest ios 14 on all the devices like iphone 4s to iphone 12 pro max all the devices are supported with this method so you will get the exact ios version of any device so i I have a iPhone AC first generation so first I will connect it with the system so you need to connect with the USB stick and make sure that this USB cable is connected with your PC and secondly you need a Mac operating system so Windows will not work so you need a Mac operating system if you don't know how to install Mac on Windows I have several videos on it so you can watch that from the description link first you need to off your device completely so first power off your device and then you need to connect your device into a special mode that we call the diagnostic mode for the iOS so you have to press the home button and the side volume up button to get into the diagnostic mode this button combination may be different for your device the any device that having the physical home button like iphone 5s to iphone 6s and 6s plus you need to press the home button and the volume up button continuously until you will see the recovery mode option or a itunes pop up on your mac operating system then you can release the button you have to press around to 15 to 20 seconds then it will show on your screen and then you can release it then your device will be directly go into the diagnostic mode that is a special mode for your ios device so let me just press it continuously and then i will show you how you can check the exact ios version now you can see on the screen we get a new pop-up of the itunes that you have to update your device so when it will show you have to release that button and then it will go into the diagnostic mode this button combination is only for those who have the physical home button to enter into recovery mode like iphone 5s 6 6 plus iphone 6s 6s plus so you can use this method for other devices like iphone 7 7 plus 8 or x i will show you in a couple of minutes like how you can do that in the diagnostic mode in that devices so now you can see we are in the diagnostic mode so now just cancel that pop-up and open the check rain so if you don't know how to install check rain just go to the official website and download the latest version and install it it's very simple so just open the check rain so I'm running the latest 0.12.2 and now you can see the exact iOS version of your device. So I have an iPhone SE first generation that running on the latest 14.4.2. So now you can exactly check the iOS version like this method. And this method is only works for the Mac operating system or Hackintosh like Mac checkerin version. It will not work for the Windows checkerin version or Linux checkerin version. Now if you want to exit the diagnostic mode just click on exit and your device will be normally on. Now by this way you can check any iOS version on any iPhone, iPad or iPod touch. You just have to put your device into diagnostic mode and you can easily check it. Now I have an iPhone 7 and I will show you how you can check the exact version in that because the button combination is different for 7, 7 plus, 8 or X. So I will show you how you can do that. Now the step one is like previously we have there you have to shut off your device completely. So just power it off. After that you have to connect your USB cable and directly put your device into diagnostic mode for that you have to press the volume up button and volume down button for 20 seconds continuously or wait till the iTunes update pop up will appear then you can release that button. So you can use this button combination in the iPhone 7, 7 plus, iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X model. For the lower model that have the physical home button to enter in the recovery mode, you can use that in the home button and the volume up button on that devices. 
so now you can see the pop-up is here now just release that button and then your device will be get into the diagnostic mode now we have successfully entered the diagnostic mode now just open the check screen and now you can see i'm running on the ios 14.2 on my iphone 7 and all the details are here so you can check that so you can see by this way it's very easy to check the exact ios version on any iphone ipad or ipod touch and you will get to know the exact ios version by this method so it's very useful rick if you want to check the exact ios version because many times we have to jailbreak the disabled device and we don't know the exact ios version whether it's supported by the check crane or not whether it's supported by the mina usb patcher or not so you can try this method and know the exact ios version then you can easily jailbreak the disabled device and turn off the find my phone option or you have to copy the activation record file from the disabled device so you can try this method now i have a another device that is the iphone 6s and i don't know the ios version because there are some custom wallpapers on it and i, I don't know whether it's a ios 14 13 or 12 or lower so i will try to check it and see what the ios version is on so i'm pressing the home button and the volume up button because it has the physical home button to enter in the recovery mode so you have to use this combination for lower devices now just release the button at the time you see this pop up now let me just open the check screen again and check what ios version is on so now as you can see i'm running on the ios 13.6.1 with this old ios version on this iphone 6s now just if you want to exit from this recovery mode just unplug the cable and click on the exit diagnostic and it will boot your device normally and then you will see the disable screen again. So this is how you can get the exact iOS version whether it's a iOS 14, 13, 12, 11 or other iOS version on any devices to the latest 12 Pro Max. So you can try this method and check the detail. It's a very useful video if you want to turn off the find my phone option or want to back up the activation record after the jailbreak. So you have have to know the ios version on it because we have to use the different method to jailbreak these devices with the mina usb patcher different version and the check rg patch version and if you want to check the other videos on my channel like meid plus sim network and everything will work or gsm network or check in windows method like other jailbreak methods so links in the description you can check out all the videos from there so that's all for today's video i hope you gained some knowledge with this video so just hit the like button and if you're new here just subscribe to the channel for more cool updates so till then goodbye take care and peace out